We are responsible for this revolution. We are participating in this revolution. We're sad to see the scenes on television. The world is watching, but they don't do anything about it. Speeches and words are not enough. We need actions and something tangible. There is no difference between young people or old or women's or, or men. We're here together all as one person and hopefully things will change. Sadly, at the present time, we see that the human rights situation in Bahrain has hardly changed. I went to the Salmaniya hospital. I witnessed horrific things. The police was surrounding me and they tie me from my back. Like this, they tie me with this strength, and I was very tight, and then they start to beat me. Until now, the people responsible for the violations last year have not been tried or held to account. There were great hopes at the toppling of long-standing rulers in some of the countries in the region over the last year. I, like so many others, have been frustrated to see the slow pace of change, the fact that the short-term gains have not been translated yet into true accountability for the terrible repression that happened, and into institutional changes that could prevent the abuses of the past being repeated. For the people in Syria, the failure of the UN Security Council to take strong measures to protect them um, during these last 12 months is an appalling failure of leadership at the global level. Too often, long-standing political alliances have trumped human rights. The Western powers have failed to sufficiently push Bahrain to end its human rights crisis, while Russia and China have acted as a shield while Syria commits crimes against humanity. Will those in favor of the draft resolution please raise their hand? Those against? The draft resolution has not been adopted. Two countries that are among the top six arms dealers in the world who are permanent members of the Security Council may have been voting much more with their pocket in mind. Trade in arms is a billion dollar business and it's virtually unregulated. In July, there will be a conference for the Arms Trade Treaty, a treaty that Amnesty International has been pushing for years to have adopted. And it's an opportunity for governments to actually put leadership, human rights above their own profits. It's a first step towards showing the type of leadership that permanent members of the UN Security Council should be demonstrating. Otherwise, it makes a mockery of them being charged with guarding international peace and security. Amnesty International's message is not just for leaders from one part of the world. Failed leadership was a global phenomenon last year and this message is to leaders of all governments, particularly from emerging powers and here I'm not referring only to Russia and China. And the message is that they have to remember that they have international responsibilities. People in these countries are calling for an end to repression for their rights to be respected and for justice to be put ahead of profit. Don't fail those people. You will be judged if you do.